guys welcome back to my channel oh my goodness i know i know i've been gone for so long <laughs> i'm sorry guys but i'm back again i'm back again very strong and i'm not slacking back i'm not <laughs> so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make this nutless spiral braid so if you are interested and you want to see how i came up with this then you should definitely keep on watching so to begin i'm going to brush my hair of the way and then this is the braid that we are going to be using it's called anti lazy this is how it came in the pack it's a beautiful spiral curl in color t235 you also need your brush and your comb hair gel and some clip before I start braiding, I'm going to moisturize my hair with this hair pomade and I'm making sure to spread it evenly throughout my hair and I'm going to go ahead and brush it all off to kind of get any knots or get rid of any frizziness for my hair before I begin braiding. I'm going to make my sections like in cube cubes like box 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 if you understand what I mean and so I'm going to part my hair from the front to the back like all back straight and the help of the olive oil gel that I showed I'm going to apply it in the middle to kind of make my patterns very neat and then once I'm done we are going to start sectioning this in smaller sections like box box and that is what we are going to braid with. This is me making my first pattern and I'm going to begin doing my knotless braid. With a knotless braid, you have to first braid your natural hair like twice and then you start feeding in pieces of hair so you are okay with the texture or the thickness of the hair, sorry, and the thickness of the hair. Um, yeah, and then you stop right there and begin to braid all the way down. So with, the, with each braid that I did, I used four smaller strands in eight as you may see me picking the hair i'm adding smaller smaller hair i added four pieces and then i braided all the way down i realized the strand i used were a little bit smaller and if i continue using this same size i wouldn't finish the hair so as i went along the way i tried to make it a little bit thicker than how i started So with this hair, because it's pyro braid, you don't have to braid all the way to the tip. You can braid it um, and then once you are almost at the tip, you just leave it and that will give you your curly or wavy spiral effects that we are looking for. You don't have to tie it or do anything just braid and leave and this is what you should get at the end of the braid. I'm going to show you one more time. First of all, sectioning my hair making sure that it's off the way i'm going to braid my hair and i'm doing it about two or three times and then i start feeding in pieces of hair and the pieces of hair that i'm using is with each braid i'm adding four smaller section of hair to do the feeding braids then i braid it all the way down not to the tip but once i get to my desired length i stop to leave the curly um, tip at the end or the curly end at the tip either way <laughs> And one more thing, once you are braiding, make sure that you are hiding your own hair, that your own natural hair inside um, the extension. I don't know if that makes sense, so that it won't be visible once you are done braiding. If today is your first time stopping by my channel, you are most definitely welcome. My name is Mami Abna. I upload beauty related videos, mostly hair tutorials and DIYs. So if you are interested or looking for content like that, then you should definitely subscribe to my channel for more great content like this. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at 2 underscore Mami Abna 2 underscore. That's where I post behind the scenes of most of my uploads and also short tutorials for you guys and yeah my page is not really boring so you guys should definitely check it out also if you want me to do any video for you if you want to 
um bring more video topics for me make sure you leave it down below in this video um that's the comment section or send me a message on my instagram and i'll make sure to do that for you so if you have any hair suggestion video that you want me to do please leave it in the comment section of this video or hit me on my instagram at two underscore mami abna two underscore and i'll make sure to upload that video for you because what are friends for As you may know this video is self-explanatory so i don't have to talk too much just watch the motion of my fingers and you get a fair idea of what i want to demonstrate i'm going to keep quiet because it's like i keep repeating the same process over and over and over again so if you're a beginner this video should help you braid your hair or braid a colleague's hair braid a family member's hair braid on a week up it's still the same process so i'm going to keep quiet and i'll see you all on the other side And guys this is sad news like i'm really really sad so i lost a lot of footage whilst recording this video that i had no knowledge of until i exported it onto my laptop and i realized that i've lost a lot of files so i'm still trying to retrieve them if by any chance i get it i'm going to insert it in the video but if not i'm sorry guys i'm really really sorry that will be the end of today's video and that's the end of today's tutorial oh my god look at this beautiful spiral curl i just dipped the ends in hot water to kind of get it this perfect and yeah if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and until next week bye